Hi, and welcome back to 3ME. Today we'll be looking at the main methodology that drives the 3ME program in order to give you a little bit more insight into our training methods and why we do what we do. For a lot of students who are studying English as a secondary language, a lot of times learning English seems very difficult. Well, that's because a lot of times it is. But that's not necessarily the language's fault. Most of the time, it's because of the way that the language has been taught to students in school. The actual teaching method is normally to blame in most cases and is the primary reason why students find the language difficult. The fact is that most English students in Japan have been learning the English language backwards and in an unnatural way. Most English schools in Japan actually complicate the English language learning process even further by having students focus on learning academic and technical aspects of the language before the students even really have a solid speaking foundation or know how the language is supposed to work or be used in the first place. What I mean by that is this. If you think about it, how did you learn your native language or the language that you currently feel comfortable speaking? You didn't learn it in school or by studying textbooks because you could probably speak and communicate before you even started kindergarten or elementary school, right? You didn't learn to speak or communicate from a teacher. You learned to communicate by using a completely different and natural learning method that goes a little something like this. When you were a baby, your mother or your father would speak to you and you were listening to them. After a while, you could understand some of the words that they were saying. Soon after that, you started thinking about how you could say something back so that you could get what you wanted. A few days later, you started to speak and you finally told mommy, hey, I want a cookie. Those were the beginnings of your conversation skills. No textbook or teacher involved. No vocabulary study, no grammar quizzes, just basic focus on pure communication. You see, your mind works somewhat like a computer so when we look at this from a technical standpoint, listening to your mother speak, that was data input. You were gathering information. Then thinking about and understanding what your mother was saying to you, that was data processing. And saying, I want a cookie and actually speaking for the first time, that was simple data output. And of course, there are other forms of data output like body language, eye contact, and other things that you were using long before you could speak. But speaking was the first defining factor in your verbal communication skills. And all of your speaking depended on the processes of data input, data processing, and data output, just like a computer. Once you had the basics down, then you naturally started to increase your communication ability by doing simple things like uh, watching your favorite cartoon shows and repeating what the characters are saying, reading your favorite picture books, playing games and hanging out with your friends. Again, no textbooks or teachers involved in your study. This is why you can now speak your mother tongue so fluently without even thinking about it. Because this is the natural way of learning any language, which is what the main methodology and starting point for this course is based on. Because, guess what? Learning to speak English quickly, fluently, and efficiently works the exact same way. The main thing that separates this course from most other online English courses is that instead of focusing on textbook and academic skills, the primary purpose of this course is to teach you how to study and learn English by yourself without the need of a teacher. Learning English or any language for that matter is a process. Teaching you this process is the main goal of this course. I'll do this by showing you simple tips and tricks that are designed to help you unlock things that make learning the English language natural, fun, exciting for you to learn while being easy to remember and utilize any time you like by providing you with the basic key points to learning the language. You'll study more complex stuff like vocabulary, proper grammar, and business situational phrases later in the course, but for now, I just want you to think about uh, focusing on trying to communicate in the most natural manner possible. Now, to give yourself a quick English communication skills test in regards to listening and comprehension essential to speaking, 
because you can't speak about a topic if you don't understand what the topic is about, try taking the listening quiz below. Once you've completed that, let's move on to the next lecture.